Hello my dear friends this is Rakesh and uh, in the last video we have discussed about the IS hosting and uh, in today's video uh, video we will discuss about the application pool what what are the different uh, what are the roles of the application pool and uh, why it is uh, important and why we should go and create the application pool for our application when we are hosting it on the IS and uh, what are the different settings that we can manage by using the application pool so on these are the all things we will discuss in today's video and let's go to the is to cover all these things and uh, see this is uh, our website we can create the website by using uh, right click on this option and add website option and we can add the website and we have covered all these things in the last video so today we will only focus about the application pool that uh, what's the application pool and uh, how why it is important right so into uh, so we can go and add we can right click over here and add the application pool we can give the name and the uh, the dot net framework version over here and the mode and we can click on ok so for example i will create a test app application pool I just select the CLR version there are the two CLR version and one is not managed code CLR version 2.0 and 4.0 all the application uh, which are being developed by the 1.1 1.0 and up to the 2.0 being covered by this dotnet um, version 2.0 and above that uh, for example 3.0 3.5 framework 4.0 and above this 4.5, 4.6.1, 4.6, 4 all this stuff will be covered by this, uh, will comes under this framework 4.0 and being managed by, there is no, you will not be able to find the framework like 4.5, 4.6. So all these, uh, if the version is higher than, then that version will also cover under this 4.0, right? And no managed code is means if you do not want to use the CLR features of your framework, means your application, um, is uh, purely static and in, uh, you have developed that application in the simple html pages and static application is then then you can go with the no managed code then it will not uh, make a call to the clr right and uh, here is the integrated mode these are the two types integrated mode and the classic mode and uh, the, uh, up to the IS 6 there was only the classic mode was introduced and uh, after the 6 plus uh, IS version the integrated mode uh, integrated mode was introduced right so we'll click on ok and you will see this uh, application pool is created so it's this is the name of the application pool it's tell the status of uh, application pool the framework uh, which uh, this IS is being used and uh, it's a pipeline mode and this is the identity and how many applications are running for example we create this application pool right now and we have not configured any application under this application so it's showing the zero and for example this application pool is using one website right under it so that's why it's showing the count over here so why we should create the application uh, separate application pool for our application suppose you are um, you have hosted a multiple application on your is and uh, your uh, one application is doing the memory leak and uh, consuming the lot of uh, CPU users and CPU users and a lot of memory uh, using so it can uh, kill the other websites because one application consume the most 90 percent of the CPU or 100 percent of the CPU so it will not uh, your uh, CPU and the RAM memory will not be enough to serve the other application so it can cause uh, or make uh, down um, the other application which are hosted on uh, your IS so in order to make everything equivalent and uh, manage all the things so that uh, one application is doing the memory leak in spite of this that do not affect the other application for this reason we will create the application pool so we have the different settings over here we can uh, start stop and recycle the um, uh, do the recycling on this application pool and uh, this is the basic setting this will open the pop-up which we have already opened over here and uh, this is a recycling and uh, this is the advanced setting and uh, in it will go about the advanced setting advanced setting here 
you will find the same things .NET CLR version which we have co um, covered in the basic setting .NET either in you are using 2.0 in which applic uh, suppose uh, you have uh, created the application your application is using 2.0 4.0 whatever framework is being used you can select and no managed code is already have um, told you and uh, then um, enable 32 bit application enable 32 bit application is mean if your application is developed in 64 bit and uh, you are using uh, 64 bit operating system and then the 64 bit worker process will be fired 64 bit worker process will be used and if you are using your application uh, and which is developed in 32 bit and you are running it on the 64 bit uh, machine then this option should be true right and this is the integrated mode and the classic mode which I have already covered told you and uh, how many uh, queue request uh, can be in the queue right you can also increase decrease this thousand is the default value over here and this is the main important part CPU uses limit so zero indicate that uh, it can use uh, from 0 to 100 percent of the CPU if you want to restrict the this application which is using this particular um, application pool then you can give the limit over here either 10 percent 5 percent 20 percent so you, this application pool will not be able to use beyond the limit right so you can restrict the CPU users by using this action and uh, further is uh, process model and here is identity under the influence of which user this application pool is running this is an inbuilt account application pool identity you can also use the custom account you can set user your username password and confirm password so whatever uh, username password um, you will enter over here under the significance of that user this application pool will run right and uh, idle timeout uh, idle timeout action what action you want you time, want to terminate kill and this is the one of the biggest feature maximum um, maximum worker processes one application by default one application use the one worker processes if you want more than one worker processes to support your application pool then you can also go with the you can um, increase this worker process it uh, you can also increase it to two three right but as you will increase the worker processes it will increase the performance of your application but at least it all depends upon the hardware configuration of your application also right so ping enabled that uh, your application your is will do the health monitor on your application and uh, health monitoring will be done on, on your application your uh, the ping will be done to the your uh, website and it will tell that uh, how much how much time is um, taking uh, by the response maximum time minimum time and all these stuffs can be done uh, and process orphans process orphans if this option is set to true then the unresponsive worker processes will be abundant right and uh, further is uh, rapid action failure if there will be a failure then on what uh, type of the uh, it, how, in what type you will get the response either on HTTP TCP so it will be delivered to you on HTTP right and um, how many failures and how many failures in how many time there's a five failures in five minutes then you will get the sir on un server unavailable response type HTTP message over there and uh, further is uh, recycling recycling means um, your IS will be IS not IS your application will be recycled so, uh, so once you will do the recycle this is the same option pointing towards this so in, in uh, this option is also available in the GUI if you click on this recycle right 
this option is telling that regular interval regular time interval this this means the recycling will be done after this much of the time it can be also fixed about the fixed number of uh, requests that after thousand number of the request it should be recycled at the specific if you want at the specific time it can also be done it can also be set with the um, on the basis of the memory uses that at this time uh, at this uh, memory if the memory um, exceeded um, from this point that uh, 1 gb 2 gb then uh, your uh, application pool be, will be recycled when the application pool be recycled your uh, users if um, the users are online on your app on your website then those will be logged out i think you are, you also might have observed the same behavior that uh, you are logged in logged in on some site and uh, suddenly you um, got logged out and throw, thrown to the login page so um, this happens only um, if your uh, is or your application pool is recycled so you can define the all these settings so the major setting was the cpu uses and the memory uses zero means it can use the zero to hundred percent of the memory and uh, the third one was the maximum number of the worker processes these are the key points and identity under the influence of which uh, user mm, this uh, worker process will use will run so these are the different uh, key points which i discuss about the application pool please don't forget to um, create uh, your application pool whenever you are going to host any application so it will your application will serve better and your performance will be and the performance of the uh, your website will be also good so thanks for watching uh, this video and uh, if you find this video helpful then please don't forget to like and subscribe and thanks for watching